to stealthily hunt your enemies across land and sea? Maybe cast a little magic with a faithful animal companion at your side? Then darling, have I got the class for you. Get ready for your ranger quick build for D&D 5e. Don't know how to play? We'll, we'll show, show you the way! Handbook! 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 Handbooker helper! Handbooker helper! Rangers specialize in specific fighting styles, so if you plan to stand back and let loose those arrows, then you should make dexterity your top priority. But if you'd rather dual wield a couple axes and slice through enemy lines, put the focus on strength. Next down your stat line should probably be wisdom, it's what your spells are based in, as well as your survival skills and all that sweet, sweet animal handling. At level 3, you'll choose your ranger archetype. You could choose to be a hunter, someone who focuses on special techniques that'll take down their quarry, be it hordes of goblins, giants, or even a dragon. Or you can become one with the creatures of the world around you and walk the path of Beastmaster. With this, you can command a fierce and adorable animal companion to fight alongside you, and depending on the spells you choose, you can even spy on your targets through their eyes. You can choose to play your rangers stealthy or play them tanky. There's no wrong way to do it. But when you start using spells, Hunter's Mark is always a solid choice. You get it pretty early on, you can deal an additional D6 damage to your attacks, which really adds up. You just have to, you know, remember to cast it. Something else to keep in mind, a lot of ranger spells are concentration, so if you decide to shoot a magical lightning arrow, you'll drop the Hunter's Mark, which means that planning the order of your spells during battle is pretty important. But have fun out there, buddies, and make this mama bear proud. Handbook. 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 Handbook.